How local farmers are beginning to feel the pinch from a trade war. Tariffs on soybeans affect many farmers in Hampton Roads. Soybeans are the most valuable farm export in the state. 10 on your side's Chris Horn spoke with a farmer today who's had soybeans in his family for nine generations. Yes. So, what's yeah. happened to the price lately? Down and down significantly just since Memorial Day. The tariffs went into full effect about two weeks ago. China put a tariff on American soybeans. And the Chicago commodity price has dropped 20% in the past six weeks. We talked with a farmer who has a fallback plan. Not everyone will. We've always grown soybeans. For Steve Berryman, that means since the early 1800s in Surrey County. He doesn't recall such a quick drop in the market price. Now about $8.50 a bushel. Right now we're about $2 below where we were back in May. So that. That's a pretty big, significant drop. Down $2 a bushel, 50 bushels an acre, 1,500 total acres of soybeans. So the Berryman farm has lost about $150,000 in six weeks, but that's only on paper, at least for now. We've got storage on the farm where we can store them for a period of time if we have to, but uh, eventually you have to sell because you have to pay the bills. But Berryman says the downturn has already had an effect. It has hurt my pocketbook and uh, my lifestyle, you know, my business, but um, hopefully in the end we'll win and, and uh, the price will come back up. One of the main purchasers for soybeans in our area is Purdue Agribusiness. A company spokesman told me that despite the price downturn, Purdue will find a home for all the soybeans that farmers bring. However, the price they can pay the farmers will continue to be determined by market forces. Berryman says current prices and the trade war won't affect how he votes in the midterms. But if it drags out, the 2020 general election might be a different story. If nothing's worked out and we stay here for two or three years, then the farmers won't be happy. We we'll, right. we'll know that. And Berryman says if the trade war lingers, he can switch some of his acres to cotton and peanuts, which he already grows in other farms. But some smaller farmers won't have that flexibility. Tariffs are also hurting farmers already with higher prices on farm equipment. It's another area where Berryman says area farmers will need to tighten their belts. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.